I think pure country includes rock and roll. I don't think that you have to call it country rock any more than you have to call something folk rock. It's e it's either you can call it rock and roll or you can call it country music. I, I just don't like the label country rock. I was brought up in the South, and I never knew the difference between Negro gospel music and country music. It all was just music to me. Well, I sold the farm to take my woman where she longed to be. We left our kin and all our friends back there in Tennessee. Then I bought those one-way tickets She had often begged me for And they took us to the streets of Baltimore And I knew the difference in the sound And the difference in how to play it But and I, I was taught to play music by black people But I was never aware that one was called gospel or rhythm and blues or blues and rhythm as it used to be called and the other was called country and western I, I never understood that and I just never I, I've never been able to get into the le further label of, of country rock it just doesn't make sense to me we know it's wrong to let this between us We've got to stop this wild desire in you and in me So we let the flame burn once again until the thrill is gone Then we'll sweep out the ashes in the morning How can you define something like that? I just say that it's, it's music. You know? Either it's good or it's bad. Either you like it or you don't. I was I was just very lucky. I was in Baltimore. The Burritos had two more gigs to play, as the Flying Burrito Bros with Chris Hillman and everything. And one was in Charlotte and one was in Baltimore. And they. Uh, called me in New Orleans and asked me if I'd like to come up and play the last couple of gigs with him. I said, sure, why not? You know, because Byron Berlin was there and a bunch of guys that played bluegrass and stuff, and I thought it'd be fun. And Chris happened to mention to me when I was there, he said, you know, we were in Washington a while back, and I heard this chick singer said she's, she's nothing but a folk singer but she could probably be developed into a really good country singer. Well, Chris didn't know she was from Birmingham, Alabama, <laughs> and that she knew more about country music probably than both of us did. Love hurts, love scars, love wounds, and my any heart not tough nor strong enough to take a lot of pain take a lot of pain love is like a cloud goes a lot of she, she, it took a little bit of getting together, but like, I called her up and she said, sure, come on down. And I met her at the train station and she took me to, over to her house and we sat in the kitchen and I knew the first duet, I, I was thinking to myself, okay, well, let's see if she can cut it or not. So I thought of one of the hardest country duets I could think of to do, which was, um, that's all it took. And she just sang like a bird, man, and I, I, I said, well, that's it, <laughs> and I sang with her the rest of the night, and she just kept getting better and better. The more I looked at her, she's got fantastic eye contact. She can sing anything that 
you're doing in perfect harmony as long as you look at her. You know, and, and if you raise your eyebrows, if you're going up on a note, she goes right up with you in perfect pitch, man. She's beautiful. <laughs>